This Sunday, watch Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk face off in a fight for the ages. I mean, maybe, hopefully. Let's see. Welcome to the top. Welcome to Beyond the Screen. I'm Nate, and today we're breaking down the top 10 celebrity reactions to the Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk match. Number 10, Jeff Bezos. CEO entrepreneur, born in 1964, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Thank you, Bo Burnham, for getting that stuck in my head for the rest of my life. I can't even go on Amazon now without hearing that. In case you don't know, Jeff is the CEO behind your favorite online shopping center, Amazon.com. Amazon originally started as an online bookstore and it sold its first pages in 1995. Since then, Jeff has been able to get into the right rooms with the right people to develop his bookstore into the tech and marketing giant that it is today. Jeff actually lives quite the exciting life outside of the world of Amazon. In fact, his rocket-based company successfully launched himself and several others into space last year on the first casual and commercial flight outside of the planet's ozone. Jeff was almost caught up in the Twitter feud himself, claiming that he saw Elon and Mark going back and forth, and nearly chimed in with a let's make it a triple threat type deal. But he decided to keep his mouth shut and move on. Good move too. Imagine if he did send that tweet. Would Jeff, Elon, and Mark square off in the ring? Well, Okay, well since there's three of them, technically it's a triangle, but I don't know. Number nine, Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg actually played Mark Zuckerberg in the 2010 biopic called The Social Network. The film followed Mark and his journey to stealing, I mean creating, one of the most used social media platforms of all time, Facebook. Jesse recently shared his opinion on the fight between Elon and Mark, claiming that if it were to take place, that Elon better watch out. According to Jesse, he had to do a lot of research on Mark to prepare for the role in The Social Network. In his time doing said research, he noticed that Mark has a bit of a sporadic streak. He's quick and he's squirrely. Not to mention his mental stability was questionable, considering his actions towards his colleagues and his friends. If you need further proof that Mark is ready, just check out his TikTok showcasing his jujitsu moves. Apparently Mark won a tournament for the skills recently. Not only does he have the unhinged mind that helps competitors go full force, but he also has the muscle memory to counter whatever strikes Elon intends to throw. So if Jeff Jesse's right, then the fight won't just be entertaining, eh, might be quick. Number eight. Kenan Thompson. Kenan actually got to spend a week straight with Mr. Musk as he hosted the late night sketch show Saturday Night Live in 2021. Elon was chosen to host the show as he was promoting his new cryptocurrency Dogecoin at the time and SNL had never really asked a tech mogul to come on and host a full episode of the show before. I was fortunate enough to watch that episode live and I have to admit, Elon actually did a pretty good job. He's not an actor by any means, but the fact that he knows he can't do anything other than be himself in a scene made the performances feel so innocent and fresh. Plus seeing him in a courtroom dressed as Wario, <laughs> priceless. Keenan told media outlets that if this whole fight thing was really going to go down, that his money is on Elon Musk. Not only is he physically larger than Mark, but Keenan claims that he has a strong dedication to his work, and he noticed Elon working harder than most other hosts to get their job done right when it came to showtime. If Keenan could participate as a ringmaster or something along the lines, though, that would be pretty sick. I would be very down for that. Number seven, Logan Paul. Logan Paul may have started his career online in the world of YouTube, but he quickly soiled that name following the release of a video in 2017, where he captured a lifeless body in a Japanese forest and decided to post it online. Some people are rough, man. Why does this guy exist? He was able to scrape together some fans, though, and he shifted his efforts to a new form of media. Logan joined the wrestling world after signing a deal with the WWE to join its ever-growing roster of superstars. As some Someone who made the transition from media to medical attention, Logan has been vocal on his opinion, which is these two need to stay in their office chairs and just chill out, man. While Logan was easily able to make the shift, he also did it in his mid-20s after taking good care of his body for a long time. Elon and Mark are just two people sitting in their living rooms typing on a cell phone. No one wants to see that. While this may not be linked to the WWE in any way, we can just agree that seeing either Mark or Elon standing in the ring would allow a lot of us to pass away a happy person. Number six, Dana White. The hypothetical battle of billionaires is slowly becoming more and more realistic. With so many people calling for Mark and Elon to square up in the octagon, the UFC has officially gotten involved. The president of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Dana White, went public with his opinion on the bout a few days ago, claiming that he was chomping at the teeth to make this thing actually happen. The UFC is no stranger to brutal bouts between bitter rivals. The idea that Dana White wants to capitalize on both 
both of the hype surrounding the fight and the names involved as well, well, th that's definitely not crazy to think about. Think about the title card, Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg, presented by Red Bull. He told the MMA news outlet MMA Fighting that he's currently working on a plan to put Elon and Mark together safely in a one-on-one -on -one match. The last thing anyone would want is the CEO of Meta or Tesla to accidentally get their nose smashed into their skulls. This match would also have some stipulations, as the MMA tends to split its fighters up by weight, Elon and Mark would be competing in what's known as an exhibition match, a one and done situation and it doesn't matter how much you weigh. Oh well look at that, the UFC being all inclusive and stuff. Dana went on to claim that the event would feature up and coming competitors as well as veterans to make the show a spectacular for the ages. So here's hoping that it actually happens, that sounds cool. Number 5, May Musk. For those who don't know Elon's mom, let's just talk about her stellar career for a moment and give her a spotlight. Elon Musk's mom, May Musk, was on the cover of Sports Illustrated and has a modeling career spanning 50 years. She was a finalist in the 1969 Myth South Africa beauty competition before going on to appear in Revlon ads, magazines like Women's Day and Vogue, and she was even featured in a music video for Beyonce's Haunted in 2013. In 2011, May, a then mother of three, appeared clothing free on Time Magazine's health issue and the New York Magazine as well. That must have been a fun therapy session for Elon. While that was surprising enough, what was even more of a surprise was that last year she graced the cover of Sports Illustrated and killed it. At that time, she was the oldest cover girl for the magazine, now only second to Martha Stewart. May is of course on Elon's team for this one, as she raised the kid to fend for himself since day one. Elon's a big boy now and his mama is going to be ringside with a sign in one hand and a bikini in the other. Oh, what a supportive woman. Number 4, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan first got famous hosting one of the more questionable reality competition shows to ever exist, Fear Factor, in the early 2000s. Joe not only hosted the series, but he also had a hand in creating the many disgusting challenges that competitors were forced to participate in. What can we say, man? This guy just loves feeding people bull parts. We're not sure why. Since the show's cancellation, Joe has found massive success in the world of sports entertainment as a commentator and analyzer for the UFC. And as a little side gig, though, he hosts a little show called the Joe Rogan Podcast. He's had everybody on this thing, from fake doctors to real celebrities. He's even had potential fighter Elon Musk on his show three separate times to speak about some weird and wild outlandish ideas that Elon has. Joe has spent a lot of time with Elon in his studio, so it comes as no surprise that Joe is on Elon's team for this one. All bets are on Elon, the man who wants to connect our brains via the internet so that we can share knowledge. That, that just... No, that just sounds so weird. Joe has claimed that not only does Elon have the skills to beat Mark, but the brains as well. If Elon has to step into the ring, he's gonna step in with some kind of taser amplified gloves or something. Needless to say, if this thing actually happens, Joe will be ringside with a big ol' sign that says, Elon, have my babies. Number three, the Winklevoss twins. For those who haven't seen the film The Social Network, allow me to just fill you in on who these guys are. Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss were the original creators of Facebook in 2002. The twins and their fellow classmate at Harvard, Divya Narendra, sought a better way to connect with their fellow students at Harvard and the surrounding universities. They developed a platform called the Harvard Connection. The idea for the platform was essentially it being clubs, so you could represent the school you were attending as well as meet others with similar interests as yourself. The idea was sound and it worked wonderfully well. So much that Mark Zuckerberg decided to steal the source code for the site, copied it, and used it to develop Facebook. When the news broke that Mark may be stepping into the ring with Elon Musk, they were ecstatic about the whole thing. The idea of seeing their old rival getting his teeth knocked in was something they were very down to see. While they haven't actually dropped any cash on the event yet, they have said that they'd be willing to sponsor the event if it means that Elon Musk is going to clock Mark right in the kisser. Number 2. Bill Gates The brain behind computer and gaming giant Microsoft, Bill Gates is a genius beyond compare. Okay, well not really, he gets compared to Steve Jobs a lot. Bill doesn't normally comment on anything, really, but he's given his two cents this time around. Or I guess his... Since he's a billionaire, it would be his two grand. I don't know how that works. Bill is actually on nobody's side. In fact, he believes that this whole thing is silly beyond belief. He called out Elon on social media, claiming that the job of a CEO is to maintain the integrity of the company at face value and beyond. Basically, if you're the CEO of a major company, don't make all these comments about getting into an altercation live in the ring. It's only going to make the company look bad. Bill may have a point. This is the man who gave us the second best home gaming device in the world. Sorry, buddy. I'm a Sony boy all the way. 
With Bill chiming in, maybe he's also going to get swooped into the ring. This fight just keeps getting better and better. Let's put Bill Gates in some gloves. And at number one, Chris Rock. Comedian Chris Rock was in the news cycle in a similar vein to this last year during Oscar season. In case you didn't know already, Chris made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's alopecia and her husband Will stood up in the middle of a ceremony and just slapped him across the face with full force. Despite the onstage altercation, Rock kept his cool and the night went on. With just a little bit of awkwardness looming over cause hey, Will won the night's best Oscar award, going down in history with one of the hardest speeches to sit through ever. Since getting wind of a potential bout between Elon and Mark, Chris has chimed in with a, can I be the referee? It's nice to see so many people taking a comedic approach to this situation. I honestly would pay so much money to see Chris Rock host a cage match with Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. With all the celebrity power surrounding this event, it makes sense that this fight should be marketed as a one time charity event, giving all the ticket proceeds to someone who could actually use the money and you know, use their fists for good. And for the love of God, make Chris Rock host it. And those are the celebrity reactions to the Mark and Elon fight that we know of. Have you found any juicy tidbits online that we missed? Well, let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching our content at Beyond the Screen. Please leave a like if you enjoy this video, and we'll see you next time.